Good afternoon, Dr. Leibowitz. Friday, 12, 12, 12. Happy hour in a couple hours, but we're doing surgery before happy hour. We've got a young man, he's from Connecticut, and he came in for gynecomastia. Now, it's unilateral, so he's happy with the size of, of the chest. Sure, tighten up, lose a little weight, this and that. He's got some glands in there, but he's thrilled with this, but this side doesn't look so good. We're gonna remove this gland, and you can kind of see it. It's, it's this. Okay, well if you look at this side, it really, he's got a little gland there, nothing to speak of, he's happy with this, but we're burning no bridges, we can always do this in a year from now, six months from now, or whatever. This is the side that, bu that bugs him. All of this junk here. And the nipple, this nipple is uh, uh, like four times the size of this side. So I'm throwing in a nipple reduction on him just because I'm so good. And, but he can see it, make, make a muscle. You can kind of see that. So stealth incision, numb it up, stealth incision where the water meets the beach and get this gland out perfectly in total. Gotta remove the whole thing. You can't save a little bit in there to try to match this side because it's gonna bite you in the butt. You gotta get it out. If you leave a little bit in there, it's gonna regrow thousand percent. Get the gland out, do a nipple reduction, drain, maybe yes, maybe no. He doesn't want one, but if he needs one, we gotta do one. If I do one, we'll we'll put it right in the um, in the armpit so it does not show. Local anesthesia, no pain, and perfection. So uh, let's hop to it. All right, incision where the water meets the beach. It's important to do it at that. Otherwise, if you go into the nipple, it'll look, it'll, you'll see it. Now let's see what puppy we get out of here, huh? Yeah. I think it's gonna be a nice size one. Am I gonna get to watch this on YouTube? On YouTube? Yeah, yeah we're live sure. right now. Of course. <laughs> Your mama can watch this. Let's call up your mama. Say, Mama. Mm -hmm. I should make sure I didn't tell her that I was Exactly. <laughs> mama. Tell them after. Yeah. Exactly. Mom. I don't worry too much. Yeah. All right, so what I'm doing now is this is a big sucker, and I can see. See, the glands is white, okay? And the yellow is fat. In Spanish, it's amarillo, right? Are you Spanish? What no, are you? Portuguese. Portuguese, Brazilian. all right. Brazilian, yeah. All right. Brazilian, that's uh, Portuguese. Mm -hmm. They speak Portuguese in Brazil. It's one of the only, is that the only South American countries that speaks uh, yeah. Portuguese rather than Spanish? Yeah. All right, so now I can see where the, the gland is. So I get under it, poke a little, poke a little thing like that. Now, when I poke a little thing, I can actually finger fracture it. So I'm right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we're right there. So I'm finger fracturing it to get under it. And this is going to be a nice gland. I prepared them for a drain. So I think I always know. What's my rule about a drain? Think about it. You think about it, you're gonna do it. Cosmetics, and he said that all I have to do is get lipo done on the left side and it'll look just like the right side. No so way. then I called Dr. Huh? Leibowitz and I was just like, I can feel the gland here and this guy is telling me just to do lipo and not to take out the gland. Mm. And now he's over here saying it has its own zip code. It's, <laughs> right, exactly. it's massive, I can I could feel it. Yeah, you, get, you, yeah got a, you got a good size gland in it. And some people actually still have pain in it, yeah. that size. Does it bleed a lot? If I didn't numb you the, the way I numb you, you would have been, yeah. Blood would be everywhere. Oh, yeah. I thought about it, so. <laughs> no, no way. I had a patient, I had a patient who I did a, a, a thing, a, a video, and he says, listen, you're gonna see a scar. I said, you have surgery before? He says, no, I've had a little too much tequila. <laughs> and I tried to do it myself. I said, oh shit, <laughs> don't tell me that. Nice. Wow. There we go. 
Contouring it now. So this is how you do it because you gotta make sure you get the whole thing out. You all right? All right. Nothing bleeding. A little more contouring I gotta do. All right, so this is a little re lighter retractor I've got. Well, that went down into by the lat. So drain is in, people ask me, you know, will I need a drain? And really it just dictates how big the sucker is. You know, if we do it and it's a big hole and we just close it, it's gonna wanna fill up with fluid. All right, so we grabbed the nippies. You can see the difference between, between the two nips. That's Dr. Evil and that's Mini Me. See, Dr. Evil. Mini me. So we're gonna get rid, rid of Dr. Evil here. I want one million dollars. <laughs> Patience left. Yeah, the teats though. This this is the teat. The nip. We should rename rename the nip to teat. See? Teat? Half of a teat. All right, Friday afternoon, ready for the weekend. Gynecomastia, unilateral, left side, guy who 18 years old, stupidly took some, uh, some stuff, stuff, stuff to get bigger and better and better and bigger, but it bit him in the butt and he grew gynecomastia, mainly on the left side. Um, and he said his nipples even grew. So he did unilateral left side gynecomastia gland removal. Actually, he went to somebody where he lives up in Connecticut and that doctor just wanted to do lipo and no gland removal. And the guy says, what the foo? You know, he says, I know by watching Lebo that this is gynecomastia gland. So this is it, pure gland. He's gonna do gland in hand, gland in, hand in a second. Uh, but this is this is rubbery hard, just, it, just, just, just feel it. Stick, it. stick your hand out there and just touch it. Touch it, touch it. Um, Anyway, you, no way, no way in hell can you uh, lipo this out. And as a matter of fact, it would destroy the nice anatomy of his, of his chest uh, because you got the lipo on one side, not on the other side, and then the gland removal, that would be a disaster. So he found me, he came to me. This is the nipple side, the nipple stayed right there. And this is the muscle side, nice and smooth. And this is the, the nipple I removed, maybe half to two thirds of the nipple in the inferior part, so you'll see nothing. Uh, stealth incisions, perfect results, guaranteed forever. I got it out to perfection. So if you have gynecomastia, one side, two sides, even on three sides, you call me, Dr. Leibowitz, 631-424-0, yeah, I snuck that in there. 631-424-0101 or email me at jonathanleibowitzmd at gmail.com. Thanks and see you soon. Lebo, famous 
gland in hand, people have to, you know, touch their glands. It's, it's the next best thing to do. So uh, that, that's a nipple, you can pop that off if you want. That's a little nippy. The, ni the nibblet, the nippleet, and that's the gland. That's what that guy wanted a lipo out. Wow. Impossible. Wow, this is crazy how it feels. Yeah. The so other hand. Can I eat it now? You can eat it. <laughs> no. Smell it. Lick it. <laughs> touch, touch your tongue to it. You, you want to yeah. take it home? I don't even need Dr. Lee. <laughs> you Thank you so much. I appreciate it. My Dr. pleasure. Wow. This won't even cut. No, it won't even cut. Imagine trying to get that out through the that tube with the lipo. There's no life going that at all. Yeah. Amazing.